Hello, today I am going to be reviewing and also swatching all of the shades of the new Jane Iredale Hydro Pure Hyaluronic Lip Glosses. I have all of the shades here. I will give you a better look at them, but I'm gonna swatch every single shade. Jane Iredale was super kind to send me all of the shades. This video is not sponsored, but I did wanna put a disclaimer that these were kindly gifted to me. Um, of course, as always, opinions are always my own. I'm just super excited to be able to swatch all of the shades for you guys, because I know that seeing all of the shades can really help you figure out which ones you might wanna purchase or which one you might wanna purchase. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into this. So first off, let me give you some some details about these. So it says, go beyond gloss and create fuller, supple lips with an ultra hydrating, non-sticky formula that combines powerful skincare ingredients with the lip loving benefits of a balm in a restorative, pillowy, soft gloss. So there are 13 shades to choose from. It says, swipe on a wash of sheer color from soft shimmery beige to creamy bold berry. Nourishes with conditioning oils and butters, no polybutene for more colorful slip, less stick. And I will little spoiler, I guess. Um, these are not sticky, which I really appreciate. I feel like I just personally don't like glosses that are sticky. I feel like a lot of people can relate to that, um, but I just like don't really tolerate sticky lip glosses um, and these are not sticky. They feel really just like nice and moisturizing on the lips. So that's just something that I noticed right off the bat that I was like, yes, they're not sticky. These retail for $26. This has lip loving ingredients, supposed to give a lasting hydration. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which delivers immediate intensive hydration to the surface layers of the skin, amplifying lips natural shape and delivering an instant smoothing and firming effect. It says expands and holds 1000 times its weight in water. It's talking about the hyaluronic acid. It's a powerful humectant that attracts and locks in moisture and reduces dryness and helps improve overall health of lips. So those are the benefits of the hyaluronic acid in here. It, it says it has a plumping peptides. It's formulated with a natural collagen stimulator and fatty acid linked peptide that helps improve lip volume. It also says it gives a subtle sheen. It has a moisturizing blend of jojoba seed oil, castor seed oil, shea butter, mango seed butter, avocado oil and vegetable oil condition and protect the lips. And then it says it also gives a gentle exfoliation. It has a lactive acid, which gently sloughs dead skin off of lips for a smoother, softer smile. So those are all of the benefits that it claims to have about these. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do all of the swatches and then I will give you my overall thoughts on these.
right, so those are all of these swatches. As you could probably tell from the swatches, the last three shades were definitely the most pigmented. These are those last three shades. These definitely had the most pigment, the most color showing up. Um, as you can see, this one is much bolder than, for example, pretty much all of the other ones. These are supposed to give a very sheer finish, and even though these bolder ones are still sheer, they do definitely have the most color out of all of them. Right off the bat, I wanna say these are super comfortable and nourishing to the lips. They really like, they don't just feel like a lip gloss to me, they definitely feel like a lip treatment because they are really moisturizing. As far as these shades go, I think that these are all really, really pretty. They are definitely like very sheer, so if you like a sheer lip gloss, I think that you would like these. And if you want something, of course, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you want a lip gloss but you don't like sticky lip glosses, you don't have to worry about that with these because these are not sticky at all. They just feel really comfortable on the lips. Some of these are clear glosses while others do have shimmer to it. When I was doing the swatches, I put shade descriptions so you can check out um, what shades have shimmer and what shades don't from the swatches, but also um, it says it on their website. Um, but yeah, so like for example, that first one is literally just a clear gloss and this one is called Sheer. It's literally just a clear gloss. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. So these are five shades that do not have shimmer and then all of the rest of the shades do have shimmer. Most of them do have shimmer to them all of the rest of them. Some of them I feel like are more glittery than others. It feels like for some of them there are kind of like chunks of glitter, but it's not like too much so that I feel like someone would just look at your lips and be like, wow, your lips are like super glittery. It's not like quite like that, but some of them definitely do have like some obvious like shimmer and glitter to them. But these are all really sheer, so don't expect to get much pigment from them. Honestly, at the very beginning for like the first like five or six or seven of them, I was just like, wow, these all kind of look the same because like they are so sheer. You can't really tell that much about like the actual shade. like. For example, this purple one called Tourmaline, this like, it does not look purple on the lips. It just looks really, really like a clear gloss pretty much in my opinion. Like these side by side on the lips are gonna look super similar. Um, and I'm just gonna swatch them on my hand to show you. Like the um, purple one, Tourmaline, is just gonna have like that slight hint of purple, but slight, it's like almost undetectable. It's very, very, it's barely noticeable. It just, it really just looks clear. So here is the shade Sheer at the top and then the shade Tourmaline at the bottom. So the clear one and the purple one. And as you can see, like there's just like that hint of purple. It's barely detectable, but you can tell. There's just like that little bit of purple to it, but they're just so sheer that you don't really, you can't really tell that much of like the actual pigment. Um, some of the shades definitely, um, lean more towards like like this one. It's still like very sheer, but you can definitely kind of see that little bit of like baby pink coming in. And then um, some of the deeper shades, you can definitely see a little bit more of like that berry tone to them. So you can tell the difference, but it's like, it's almost like pretty, pretty minimal difference because they are so sheer, but I think that they're really pretty. And also something about the um, actual applicator. So that it's like a regular doe foot applicator, but it's flat on both sides. So that's just something about the doe foot applicator. I do think that these are really beautiful. They feel great on the lips. I know that these are a gloss that I'm going to enjoy and wanna use um, because they just feel so comfortable on the lips. And I do think that the colors are really pretty and it's just like a nice sheer gloss. If you like a sheer gloss, I think that you'll like these. The longer that I keep them on the lips, I feel like I can almost feel like that a little bit of that like plumping feeling. It's not anything uncomfortable. And cause it does say it has like those plumping peptides. So I feel like that's kind of what I feel cause it says formulated with a natural collagen stimulator and fatty acid linked peptide that improves help lip fall volume. So I feel like I can just like feel that little bit of like stimulation that is coming from that. Um, it's not, anything uncomfortable. I have noticed that in other lip products too. Like for example, like the Fit Glow Beauty Lip Color Serums. I've noticed that plumping feeling in those. Um, and I can also notice that feeling in these. Yeah, so just thought I would mention that, but overall, 
really comfortable on the lips. I enjoy these. If you guys do want to check out any of these lip glosses, I will have them listed and linked in the description box below. Let me know which shades you guys like the best in the comments. Comment those shades that really stand out to you. Um, and if you guys do have any question about questions about these, let me know in the comment section below. If you are not already currently subscribed, please subscribe. I would love that. Um, and if you guys did enjoy this video, it would mean so much if you would let me know that by giving me a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all for my next video. Bye guys. Bye.